And her first words was, you saved my oh, I'm sorry, but you saved my life. That school resource officer prevented a tragedy at Freedom Area Elementary School. He stepped in to help a school nurse when a student was choking and helped save that student's life. Jessica Gway just spoke with the officer. School resource officer Rick Jones got emotional telling us what happened here at the school. He said it only took him seconds to get to the second grader who was choking on something in the cafeteria and he didn't hesitate to put his training into action. Wednesday was a normal day on the job for New Swickley Township School Resource Officer Rick Jones. It was lunch period. He was making his rounds in Freedom Area Middle School and heading into the elementary school. Both the buildings are connected, so uh, I do make my rounds into Freedom Elementary School. And as I went into their office and then I was leaving, uh, someone advised that there was a, a student choking in the cafeteria. Officer Jones ran to the cafeteria where the school nurse was already performing the Heimlich maneuver on the eight-year-old girl. A cap from a water bottle was lodged in her throat and she couldn't breathe. I end up stepping in just to help and I start giving the thrust and actually the object was dislodged. The second grader started breathing again. Officer Jones says it all happened so fast. I probably got tunnel vision because I was focused on her and I know there, it was super loud in there and I was just focused on her because I almost thought about trying to get her into another little room by herself away from everybody but time wasn't, you know. I, I knew I had to act right now and just to get that dislodged from her throat. He's been in law enforcement for over 22 years, nearly 16 with New Swickley Police. He's been assigned to the middle school for three years. This was the first time he's had to do the Heimlich, but he knew exactly what to do. He's a certified CPR instructor. So I've been trained, um, went through training several years ago to be an instructor for CPR, AED, first aid, and um, that's just part of the training. And we have to be updated every two years and we just keep the certification going and we officer jones says he doesn't know why the students started choking but he sees kids chewing on bottle caps a lot which can be dangerous and lead to choking the incident also shows the importance of first aid training for first responders and all adults he's planning to do some training at the school next month officer jones is being hailed as a hero for his quick actions I just know when i'm down there working with the kids um it's almost like kids of my own i do have two myself and um you know, you start making relationships. But he will never forget what the second grader said to him. I mean, her first words was, you saved my oh, I'm sorry, but you saved my life. The student did go to the hospital to get checked out. Officer Jones spoke with her mom today who said she's doing okay and she'll be back at school tomorrow. And she kept thanking him over and over again for saving her daughter's life. In Freedom, Jessica Gway, KDKA News.